my precious friends. May I welcome you again into another study of God's Word today. Uh, we are on Monday's lesson, The Suffering Messiah. And I, my name is Dwayne. I can't tell you how happy I am just to look at this life. Because if you have known suffering, if you've known pain, if you have known loss, it's nice to know that somebody else also has experienced what you've experienced, can identify with your pain and your suffering, and comes near to you. That's why the Bible says that Jesus is a friend that sticketh even closer than a brother. He identifies with us. In fact, in Psalm 22, which we'll look at today, this whole psalm covers and captures the suffering of the Savior. It is Jesus who cried out on the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He got that. He is quoting Psalm 22 and verse 1. This psalm talks about the fact that dogs and lions and, and, and bad things happen to the one talked about in the psalm. And these are metaphors of those that antagonized and challenged and, and brought pain into the life of Jesus. He was rejected of men. Psalm 118.22, a stone rejected by men. But then the stone that God chose to become the chief cornerstone honored by God. Jesus endured suffering. Jesus endured rejection. Jesus endured pain that we might be saved, that we might be salvaged, that we might not be, be uh, forever overcome by the wiles of the enemy, by Satan himself. This chapter of the Bible, Psalm 22, reminds us of Jesus as the suffering, suffering servant. It even talks about the fact that after his death, the soldiers cast lots for his garments. That's mentioned right here in Psalm 22. Once again, affirming that the Bible can be trusted, that prophecy is real, that the Messiah fulfills all of the markers of his Messiahship. But more than any of that, I think what today does for me more than anything else is it just reminds me that Jesus understands my pain. And he understands your pain too, because he went through it.